What is going on everybody? This is John Hester here and I'm at Hester's Motorsports in Rato, New Mexico doing a quick little video here. I, I know it's I haven't had a whole lot of our builds going up on YouTube just been so crazy can't keep up time is my biggest factor and <laughs> everything has been so overwhelming. So anyways um, we've got four you know, these four mules here are all of course all sold but uh, just wanted to give you quick run through on on what some of these uh, we just had one go out I, I wish I would have grabbed my camera literally like 15 minutes ago because we just had one go out with the air conditioning you know the Curtis cab with heater air conditioner everything like that and I just I just couldn't get a video so anyway so this uh, these are all 2023s uh, this is a ranch edition and uh, get right into this so we have the super ATV shield now that's the shield is just dirty. We need to detail these because, I mean, we've just been pumping these things out as fast as we can. And, you know, customers have been notified on these. And as soon as they get here, we will detail and have it all ready to go before the vehicle leaves. So please excuse our little bit of dirtiness. <laughs> these uh, have not been through the final detail. But anyways, so we have a Super ATV Flip Shield. which is super popular. Um, this customer, he has plans in the future to add more stuff. So we already have the heater in place and we sealed all the dash and we have a rocking. This is the level two audio form sound system top, which is pretty awesome Four eight inch speakers, um, with tweeters. And this one here, um, we have the Sirius XM satellite, uh, built into it. So this has, you know, all the features but also has the, the Bluetooth uh, the level 2 adds on the LED lights front and rear really slick top super bright on the LEDs um, we added in our Hester Edition Elka shocks and I went with a stiffer package a stiffer setup because like I said this is an outfitter he will carry in his words quote unquote for big guys possibly you know it's him and like four big guys um or five you know so it can carry six big guys and he's pretty big himself and uh he'll tell you i ain't fat i'm big bone just kidding <laughs> uh so he's gonna be carrying that and i mean they'll throw an elk in the back or quarter couple deer whatever you know so they're gonna be carrying a lot of weight uh, added in just the Kawasaki uh, quick detach storage here, so which is really nice. You got like a little cooler and everything separated on here. This is a factory Kawasaki deal, so you have like a little little tray in here and a nice deep deal. And it's got this nice seal and everything. You know, it's all rubber seal. See, so it does actually seal. You can lock it, and they're all quick connect. So you can just undo this and just take the take this out and you can fit it on anywhere on the square too so I can move this back and forth or I can even fit it up here and have it up higher and if you transform it you can have it on these like right, so this is a so uh, the titanium ranch edition so we got our Hester edition Elka shocks we have the stock wheels we have 28 inch ITP black waters because going with an aggressive tread goes through a lot of mud a lot of snow you know up in the rocky mountains here so we're going to be doing all of that and we wanted a good aggressive tire and he, he has fantastic luck with this setup this this is like his third mule that he's bought from us because they're just unbelievable bomb proof machines <laughs> never leave him stranded get him everywhere he wants to go all that good stuff so i mean he's planning on doing uh closing in the side and the back down the road it's just this is what he wanted right away uh, of course, the ranch editions come with the winch, uh, and we changed the steel cable to synthetic rope. So that's all we did on that is we just changed that, got that all set up. Uh, we have two inch, I'm sorry, uh, inch and a half wheel spacers, because as we lift it up, the wheels kind of suck in, so we put an inch and a half wheel spacer, so that way it brings it back out. Um, more flush with the body, as you can tell. So we keep our stance, but I just want to kind of show you real quick. Uh, we also have some gun gun mounts in here. I'm sure you probably saw them at the very beginning. 
we got the dual vertical gun mounts right there and uh, so he'll carry a couple rifles in there now I just wanted to kind of show you this is what 28 inch tires and our Hester Edition Elka shocks will make your machine look like so you're sitting at about 16 inches of ground clearance right there which is pretty awesome this is what it looks like bone stock this is a bone stock ranch edition brand new um, all we have all we have to do on this one is just add the super ATV flip shield and that's how they're taking it nothing super crazy but that's stock suspension stock tires and everything so yeah so Kawasaki if you're watching yeah you need to get with me and let's do a contract on our shocks because you know our stage one shocks cost less than what Kawasaki retails for stock OEM shocks which are not even comparable <laughs> in any way um, but just want to kind of show you you know what what a great difference you know that that is with them sitting there and this blue one right over here this is the new blue so from a distance it just looks blue but you get close you see that metal flake in there so they inject a metal flake into it and it is a darker blue than what it used to be uh pre-23 so 22s and everything they're just blue you know what i mean and uh so these are a little darker and with the injected metal flake and everything i actually this was a few years ago um i was in on a meeting and they were showing us a lot of stuff and uh, I kind of voted on that I'm like yeah that looks that looks really good on there you know keeps the cost down they don't charge any more for it really nice so on this blue one this blue one here I, I see this one I think is going to Colorado this one's going to Texas we have our Hester edition Elka shocks stock wheels inch and a half wheel spacers and the tensor regulators now this is one of our most popular selling tires if you're on the mule pro page you'll see me talking about these tires a lot you get to keep your stock wheel so it keeps the cost down you have an eight ply steel belted radial light truck tire mud and snow light truck tire so you have a good tread you know it's deep enough but you have a, a you know, tire, I mean, I put these on a lot of ranchers' machines. Uh, rocky mountains, rocks, gravel roads, asphalt roads, I mean, everything. And we're seeing guys getting, you know, seven to 10,000 miles out of these tires on a big mule like this. So, they're a little bit more expensive of a tire. But ask yourself this, here's the sheer economics of it. If you're going to have this machine, say, 10,000 miles... Would you rather change tires once or three times, like a normal side-by-side <laughs> uh, -side ATV tire? It usually only lasts about 3,000, maybe 4,000 miles before they're shot. And then these last a lot longer. And for puncture resistance, it's amazing because you got a steel belted radial. Very tough, very nice tire. You know, and this is a 28-10-12 fits on stock wheels that's 28 10 12 so once again Hesser edition elka shocks built more towards his weight he, you know this setup is not as stiff of a spring setup as this one we got the tensor regulator 28 10 12s inch and a half wheel spacers got the super atv flip up shield and of course this is an le model so it does come with the top and the inner head led headlights now i do have customers ask me this all the time so take a few seconds here a minute or so and kind of explain this so i've had people i tell everybody what color do you want and then we'll go from there and they're like well i want a ranch edition because it comes with a winch so there's an le i and we installed the winch so anything could be built i could take that white one and say, you know, the difference in cost in between this machine and that machine is almost three grand. 
Now there's other little Q stuff like seats and stuff that you get and and the wheels, but you can take this base model. I can put this body. This is the same piece, the very same. There's no difference in design on this body and this hood. The difference is the front clip. Right here, you can tell exactly what I'm talking about. See, this is what's called the FXR body uh, front clip. I was doing this long before, check my YouTube channel. If you don't believe me, look at the dates. I've been doing this longer, uh, Kawasaki. I know you follow me and I know you copied me. Hey, it's a compliment. I I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> but you can get the front clip as well. So like say, here's an example. You know, you look at some of the FXR body colors. They have a really beautiful persimmon candy red or the plasma blue metallic, which, is, you know, it's a blue metallic like this, but it's an actually painted body like this. This is a painted body, so it's, very smooth it's very durable this is an injected now if I do that enough and show you a different light I probably just barely scratched it see the scuff marks right there just from my hand wiping on it that's injected painted very durable very nice but if say you can't find a ranch edition well I really want a ranch edition or the brown ranch or whatever you could buy a base model EPS white or green and then save that money use it for whatever you want and you can buy the hood you can buy the body and those are just stickers you can buy the ranch edition stickers you could make that a ranch edition and you can make it for a lot less now it will cost you more if you start adding all the seat parts and everything onto that machine. Because, yeah, you're changing the seats entirely. But we're just talking cosmetic cues. So, say you want this color on that machine. I change that hood, that body, this front clip, and then I take it a step further. See, you have the LEDs here, halogens here. You can't change these bulbs to an LED. You have to buy these and then put them here to make them LED. Well, what you do is right from the get-go, you just buy two kits, bam, diggity. You got all the parts, everything needed in order to put that into this. Now, of course, you do have to buy this inner part here too. So keep in mind, you know, when you, you really have to look onto a microfish to see every little screw, every little nut and bolt and everything, like this grill will be different. So this is one part, this is one part, this is another part, this is another part, and then you got the, uh, uh, get the two headlight kits that come with the brackets and bolts and everything for the lights and the wiring. All the wiring's there. You just get everything plugged in, and bam, you can turn that into it. And then you're like, well, that's got nice wheels. How many people keep the wheels? I mean, even on the ranch editions, I mean, we get a lot of customers, a lot of customers will keep the wheels, you know, because it's more of a price point and they really don't care and which is fine it's personal preference but we got a lot of customers we'll put 14 inch wheels or 15 inch wheels or whatever i mean the same thing so you can even try to see if there's any takeoff ranch edition wheels uh at a local dealership or just you know like on the mule pro page see if there's anybody that has a ranch edition that is selling their stock wheels and tires and there you go you could do that now the bumpers are the same, but they're different. So let me explain. They are exactly the same shape, exactly the same mounting, everything like that. This, they just have a different lower tube and then the aluminum plate and the aluminum plate there. So when you look at them, you know, just a little bit difference. And I've also had people ask me, well, what about a snow plow? I mean, it's going to mount exactly the same. There's no difference in all this is, is a cosmetic piece that's screwed right to it. See, that's just a, a welded black piece. This is a, a bolted on part. So just giving you some ideas here on what you could do. Um, as far as that goes there. So now um, back to this one here. So 
We've got the shocks, the, you know, the tires, just a really simple build here. Um, and uh, got the winch installed, a Super ATV 4500 Black Ops winch. You know, really nice winch. It's uh, got a rocker switch on the dash as well as a wireless controller, so we sell a lot of those. Uh, we do them in 4,500 pound and 6,000 pound um, if you really want some serious, serious pulling on this here. But like I said, you can definitely tell the big difference. Um, it's really cold outside, so that's why I'm mainly in the shop and I didn't take these out and line them all up. That and I'm pressed for time. And I tend to talk too much, as you can tell. So I waste a lot of time doing things. <laughs> but I uh, just wanted to kind of give you an idea on all these now this one here this one here um, it's all done this is a base model EPS does not come with the top does not come with the winch but as you can see we installed the top we installed the winch we got a ricochet uh, off-road a arm guards front and rear and that's it that's exactly what the customer wanted nothing super crazy just a basic ranch vehicle try to talk them into the shocks <laughs> but no Oh yeah, and a spare tire. Just got a spare tire for them just so they could have it because they kept the stock wheels and tires um, as far as that goes there. So, just wanted to give you a little bit of kind of what's what's going on here. It is, you know, early December 22 on what we're doing here. And, and like I said, I just wanted to take the time so that way you could really see just what you know in a sense three things can totally change your machines not only just look but performance and everything i mean you add our set of hester edition uh elka shocks uh whatever stage that you want depends on your what you want on tunability these are stage ones which are what's called a set it and forget it shock much like the stock shocks you know they just have preload of course, they only have a five-step preload. We have threaded infinite preload. 28-inch uh, tire, inch and a half wheel spacers on all four corners. And just look how much better that looks. Just look at that. Way more ground clearance. I mean, look at the ATV sitting right next to it. That's a 600. Uh, CF Moto C4 600. Um, it's got really good ground clearance. That blade is 18 inches tall. Look at that. And then you drive over that blade with that mule. See? You cannot do that on that. So, right out of the boxer shocks give you about a 3 inch lift. Massive, massive performance gain. 50% increase of wheel travel, which is four inches more wheel travel, 12 inches of wheel travel on a utility vehicle. What do you think that does off-road? I mean, the valving and everything that we have in ours is just epic. The ride quality, how it can carry weight. I mean, this guy, he could put six big guys, throw an elk in the back and drive this faster over rougher terrain then that thing bone stock with nobody in it. It's a massive difference in suspension quality and performance and load capability. So, and like I said, these are stock A arms. Stock A arms on there. So, we build whatever the customer wants. I mean, from mild to ridiculously wild. And uh, so that's why you see such a wide variety of different builds, you know. I pretty much tell everybody, number one, pick a color. What color do you want? Even if they don't make the color anymore. You know what I mean? Say you want the silver titanium that they used to have. Not, not this goldish titanium, but the actual silver piece of cake. No problem. I mean, heck, I can go in my storage and I can show you. I, I've got several. I've got blue bodies and black bodies and white bodies and green bodies. You know, there's the body, this body part and the hood. You know, from us changing different machines and stuff like that. 
and you know we'll we'll swap them back and forth but ma well matter of fact i mean i i didn't get a i didn't get a video on it but i had a guy that he wanted everything that the ranch edition was but he wanted it blue so what we did was we created a blue ranch edition and i got the fxr plasma blue front clip fxr blue plasma blue body and hood and then uh we did custom graphics down the side and he had a plasma blue ranch edition and but this was this was before the titanium gold it was the titanium silver so the the seats were silver and black so it looked good you know is blue silver and black so whatever you like and see those seats you can buy those seats you know say you want a blue silver and black you can get the ranch edition seats and then put them in the, in this LE. You know what I mean? So. Oh yeah, we added a mirror. Sorry, I just looked up and saw the mirror. So, I mean, really simple builds, but focusing on what's important, that is ride quality, load capacity, good tires, just all of that. And you know, adding a winch on there, the Super ATV flip open shield. Uh, like I said, this one's gonna have the Super ATV flip open shield. We literally just got it in. We just put it together, you know, so we just got all the, everything put together and now we're just, just got to put the, the shield on. Uh, and this one he just finished yesterday, got the winch on, all that, you know, got the top on and the A-arm guards, just real simple, sweet, just a ranch, ranch vehicle. And we just, just put together, haven't seen the T-Rex 4, this is going to be the first T-Rex 4 that's going to touch our floor and... I don't know, year and a half, two years maybe. Everything else has been sold before it's got here. Um, reason why this one <laughs> isn't sold yet uh, is because in October we just placed the order and they're just now starting to confirm the orders. So I'm actually shocked that this came literally like within a week of confirmation. So, I, you know, I, I ha already have deposits for special editions and red ones and did all my digital camo t-rex fours are already gone for uh, first well first half of 23 so it's it's difficult as as a dealer trying to keep up now, like i said these are just you know just a few vehicles and, and we just got these in um to kind of give you an idea so <laughs> if you're watching this and you come back to this video in a few years i'll just kind of explain how it was in the power sports industry when it came down to you know post pandemic basically and uh you know production um you, you can't blame the manufacturer because they can't get all the parts to assemble the machines at the factory but production not where it needs to be with the amount of demand and um so all of these machines that you see here, like I said, here it is in December. And I mean, we, we got all four of these within the last two weeks. Okay. So like that one came first, that one came second, that one came third. This one just came, um, just yesterday. So these four machines were all ordered on May the 5th. Yeah. Six months. I can't blame Kawasaki. I can't it's sub suppliers you know but things should be getting better hopefully it's been rough but and like i said that's this is just you know i'm kawasaki and cf moto dealers and it's kind of the same thing as cf moto now i i got a i got a bunch of atvs in uh with cf moto but uh all the u-force 1000s and 600s all of them gone all of them and we're already taking deposits for machines that will be coming in from about February to May. We're already taking deposits on those. So it's the time that we live in now and it's it's really it's really difficult. Not just for you as a buyer trying to find them, but us as a dealer, you know, trying to supply these things. You know, I feel feel bad for everybody. You know, I wish everybody success. Never want anybody to fail, but I know there's a lot of dealers struggling and 
and it's it's been rough <laughs> it's been rough everybody so thank you all for watching god bless i want you to please uh you know tell us what you think tell us what you think you know the difference in between a stock ranch edition and just just how that one looks in comparison to that one there you know let us know what you think if there's ever anything that you need we are huge on mule stuff i mean we do all major manufacturers you know, Polaris, Can-Am, Yamaha, everything. We do all major manufacturers and a lot of parts and accessories. So if you ever need anything and you have a different brand and you don't say, well, they're, they're Kawasaki and CF Moto, they can't give me a windshield for my Polaris or they can't give me wheels and tires for my Can-Am X3 or whatever. No, I can. <laughs> we, do, we do it all uh, on that. We are a full service, full customization dealership and uh, we work on all major manufacturers. So, and we do customization and we do a lot of shocks on a lot of manufacturers and we keep expanding our our Hester edition shock line in on top of what Elka already makes as well so there's a huge difference on in between our shocks and Elka's so we're a bit packed in right now I'd I'd show you in the back but <laughs> in our storage facility back here but it's it's pretty packed um, I do have a Honda Pioneer that we did uh, did some stuff on and uh, back there, but it's a bit buried. Oh, we got a KRX 1000 back there, a four-seater special edition that we're going to be. It's going to Costa Rica. It's going to have a supercharger and everything. I will have that on this channel, so be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because as we do more of this stuff, trying to get more out. Um, I got some on my Hester how-to videos on the installation of stuff um you know some of these machines are on there and you know just kind of showing everything you know how we seal all the dash with the heater all that stuff you know we're trying to do a lot of that stuff on our channel so you know give us a subscribe really appreciate it really thank you for the time i know it's about 30 minutes long here and like i said i'm a guy that once I get going, I'm a freight train and I can't stop. Get out of my way. <laughs> uh, I like to give details. I like to give information uh, and try to provide as much. Um, you know, when you when you have good detailed information, it's, it's easy to make an informed decision, you know, versus just saying, these are my shocks. They're badass. Buy them. I mean, all, all I need to do is say that, but <laughs> but it's pretty awesome. But thank you all for watching. God bless. Guys, uh, like I said, this is early December 2022, so have yourself a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year if we don't see you beforehand. And peace out.